What's up, freaks and geeks? Welcome back to Low Res DIY. So, in the last video, we installed Prowler into our true NASA server. We put a few indexers in there, downloaded a movie, uh, you know, did some small things like that. Well, now we're going to expand upon that and we're going to install LiDAR, which is the, the little package program that is used to uh, download uh, not movies, uh, music and, and different artists and things like that. So we're going to install that, connect it to Prowler, connect it to uh, Qubit Torrent, and we're going to see if we can't download something next on Low Res DIY. All right, so let's not fool around with it. Let's jump straight into True NAS. And first place we're going to go is we are going to click on apps right there. Go to apps, available applications. Click on that. And up here in the search bar, we are going to type in LiDAR. Oops, spelled it wrong. And there it is. So let's click install. We'll give it the name LiDAR. Click next, general settings. We'll leave those alone. We'll click next, network and services. Leave those alone. Storage and permissions. Okay, we are going to add our media directory. So we're going to click on add right there and scroll down. And right here, we're going to go ahead and click on the little arrow and drill down until we find media. And then we are going to copy the slash media and paste it in as the path, path name. Next, ingress, we're not gonna fool with that. Security and permissions, oh, we're gonna hit next on that. Uh, resources and devices, we're gonna hit next. Add-on, so all right, so I got a comment on my last video from uh, a gentleman, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name, I'll slaughter it, that suggested, hey, you big dummy, why don't you run Prowler through a VPN? I think that's a great idea. Uh, I don't know why the heck I never thought about it before. If you're going to do that, uh, check out this video here where I walk you through setting that up. And this is where you would do that. Right now, I'm not going to fool around with it. We're just going to uh, move move forward and uh, get this done. So let's hit next, advanced, next documentation yes we read it and save it all right once it completes we want to go back into our installed applications and there it is it's going ahead and uh deploying itself so let's wait a second here all right that was taking a little while there so i refreshed the screen for some reason it kicked me out i had to log back in and when I came back in, we were activated. So let's go ahead and click on open. And here you are. This is uh, looks familiar. Everything uh, between these programs we're going to install, they all look kind of the same, which reminds me that the people that come up with this stuff, uh, they, they you know, run it off donations, things like that. I'll leave a link in the description if you feel like you want to go throw a few bucks at the, the folks that put this together. And also, uh, the folks for True NAS, or True Charts, I'm sorry, not True NAS, True Charts, they finally started taking donations uh, for their work. So I'm going to put a link to that down in the, the description also in case you want to uh, help them out with a couple bucks, which would be cool. So back to what we're doing here, we're going to first go down here to system because you can see it has three errors. So let's go ahead and click on it and see what we have. All right, no indexers available with automatic search uh, enabled. We'll get to that. Uh, no indexers, no download client. So let's start with the download client. We're going to click on settings right there and scroll down, download client. Click on him hit the add and we are using qubit torrent so he's right there let's go ahead and click on him him excuse me give it a name our host path which is our 192.168.1.243 in this case and the port i think that's the port but we're going to check it out 
Nope, port 195. So we're going to change that to 10095. I went super fast there to check the port. All I did was came back to True, True NAS and opened up Qubit Torrent. It popped this up right here. And then right there, those numbers after your IP address, that's your port number. That's what you want. So let's go back in here. Uh, username, which would be the username for uh, Qubit Torrent, which I don't remember. Did did we change that? And yes, we did change it. So all right, let's go back in. Let's give it the name and our password. Okay, category lidar. Blah blah blah. Let's test it. And right down here, we got the little check mark after we click test. See that right there? Which means we are good to go. So let's go ahead and save that. Now, LiDAR is connected to uh, QubitTorrent. And QubitTorrent will be doing all our downloading for us. So let's go back to system. And it is complaining about no indexer. So we'll go back to settings. And we'll click right there on indexers. Click on it. Now you can click add right here. And this is what they offer you in LiDAR. This is all you're offered. Uh, it's not too many of them. If you remember back in Prowlar, we were able to pick as many as we wanted. Basically, I think we kicked in four just to, for the video. But there were, I don't know, 100 or more in there. And that is what we're going to use Prowlr mainly for. We're not going to go just pick a couple of these. We're going to do something else. So, so let's head back over to uh, our applications in TrueNAS and let's open up Prowlr. And what do we got there? New update available. Well, we're not going to worry about that right now. So where we're want going to want to go is click on settings and then we're going to click on apps. So let's click on apps and then right here we are going to add an app. So click on it. The app we want to add is LiDAR. And so let's click on it. Okay, it's already given it a name, your sync level. You can change that to whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as add and remove only. Tags, I'm not going to put any in there. It's going to, now it wants the, uh, the IP address and port of Prowler. So let's just go up here and we'll copy all of it. Now it needs the uh, IP address and port for LiDAR. So let's go back to it and do the same thing. We're just going to copy and paste, keep it simple. Now it needs the API key of LiDAR. So let's go back into LiDAR and we are going to go down and we're going to click on general right there. And then right here, that's your API key. So we're going to copy it back to Prowlar, paste it in, and then let's test it. Bam, it's working. It says it's doing uh, exactly what it needs to. So let's save it. So now we have LiDAR connected to Prowlr. So let's go back over to LiDAR. And yep, there it went. Those two little errors are gone. So let's click on settings and then go to indexers. And it's starting to populate it with the indexers from the last video that we uh, chose for Prowlr. So let's go ahead and do a search for uh, an artist. So let's go to, uh, click up here on library, add new. So let's click on add new and let's go with one of the greatest bands of all time, Motorhead. And there they are. So, all right, if you scroll down through, you'll probably see different options. Sometimes they just have, uh, like one album or something like that, but we're going to see if we can't get the whole thing. So let's go ahead and we'll click on Motorhead. Now, 
right here, it's going to want a root folder. And that will be the folder that after Qubit Torrent downloads it, it's going to move it to this folder, to this root folder. So let's go ahead and add a new folder. I'm going to name it Music. And the path will be in Media. We're going to hit OK. This must be different to the directory where you download your download client puts files. So I believe in the last in the one of the videos when we installed a Qubit Torrent, I had everything downloading to the slash media file. Well, I went back into Qubit Torrent and I changed that to download into a slash torrents file because of this uh, exact error right here. So it's going to pop it up and tell you that, but we're good to go. And we don't need to change anything else. So let's go ahead and click save. So now it'll down when it, if it finds it and starts downloading the music, it'll put it in that directory. I want it to look for all albums. You can change it to future albums, missing albums, whatever. But right now I'm going for all albums. Monitor new albums. Again, all albums. Quality. It's any. Lossless standard. I'm not sure what exactly that means. If I figure it out, I'll let you know. And then we just want to go down here and start search for missing albums. We'll click and accept it. And then let's click and add Motorhead. And you can see right down here updating information and it's going out and it's searching for the uh, albums right now let's see if it says nothing under activity qubit torrent hasn't started downloading anything yet so I'm just going to give it a couple minutes let it uh, do its thing see what happens here okay I let that cook for about uh, I don't know 10 15 minutes or so and it threw up a little bit of metadata here and you'll notice like tracks there's 498 of them there's only one motorhead of course it's only one artist so you know it's there but you'll notice over here in activity it now says eight and these are eight albums that it uh, has found and will start downloading so now if we go over to Qubit Torrent uh, we see two of them aired out so far, but it's starting to download metadata, and it is, woof, that thing's going slow. It's like it's not even doing anything. Let's, uh, enter, resume. How about a force resume? So, there we go. It's starting to download some stuff and everything, and as it goes it will once it finishes downloading that album like I said it'll move it for you into the music uh, directory that you designated and there you go that's the uh, basic quick and dirty of LiDAR getting it connected to Prowler and starting to download music now you probably noticed what well, I definitely noticed that when I was trying to download the motorhead there that it was having difficulty find not necessarily finding it but getting things started up you got to remember that these are just people sharing stuff so they might have their upload speed really low and it just takes forever to do not to mention that you know motorhead was really popular in the late 70s early 80s and then again in, in the in the 90s a little bit but they're relatively old band that i'm um, sure there's a shit ton of people that have no idea who the hell they are uh but i imagine if you search for something like you know jelly roll or tyler childers or a, a day to remember or something like that it'll just boom 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 and there'll be a ton of people uh sharing that stuff so hopefully you like this video and uh and it was worked out for you and everything uh if it did do me a favor hit that like that subscribe button and We'll catch you later.